if you haven't heard babies it makes such crazy noises. Hello subs and visitors, it's your girl Courtney Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about Prince K. Y'all already know he's in the video. This is going to be Prince K's one month slash five week update. So if you'd like to see what's going on in this one month five week update, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're back, but before you get started, make sure you if you are not subscribed already, make sure you click the red button down below that says subscribe. Click the bell next to it that'll give you notifications for whenever I upload a picture. I mean upload a video. <laughs> and make sure you thumbs this up and comment down below. So we are in our five week mark. This is actually going to be his one month update. If you guys are not following me on social media, then you missed this cute picture right here. Uh, for his one month, we decided that we're gonna go. For his monthly pictures, we decided we're going to go with um, kind of a theme every month, whatever the theme of the holiday, the big holiday for each month. So next month's theme is the Valentine's Day. Duh. My social media sites are linked down below. That picture will circulate on those sites. So we go ahead and become my friend, you guys. So let's talk. Let's get into this five-week update really quickly. Um, he only reason why I waited till today to do the five-week update is because today was his one month checkup so i decided let me just wait till he goes to the doctor the reason why his one month checkup is a week behind is because we went one week after he was born for a one week checkup and what they did was just did um they just scheduled us a, scheduled us an appointment for four weeks later instead of on his um month which it would have been on a saturday anyway so you guys know that i'm still using the what to expect app for baby because you can still use it even after pregnancy okay. so it says that he should be making his first sounds he has definitely been making his first sounds he coos he awes he grunts so he is making lots and lots of noises you hear him now making noises and trying to push up out of my lap yes he's using his feet to push up um it says that the baby has many different types of cries he cries to let you know that he's hurting he cries to let you know that he's sleeping he cries to let you know that he is um not enjoying a special position on his crying so that you know that he is hungry so there are different cries you just have to learn to decipher them as a parent okay um it says that the baby should be smiling at this point i have not gotten a smile just because it's me or whatever but i have seen smiles because he's going to sleep and i have seen those gassy smiles because he's excited because he's pooping I probably even seen one of those I'm peeing smiles, but I have not seen a smile just to say, oh, there's my mommy, and I cannot wait till I see that smile. Um, he laughs sometimes in his sleep, which is so freaking adorable, but he has not laughed out loud yet. Well, I watched another YouTuber here on, on YouTube. If I can find her YouTube name or remember her name, I will link her page down below, but I followed another YouTuber here on youtube and she was talking about her baby's uh, mouth and it was a um like a diagram that she went by so i found that same exact diagram it looks kind of like that it's enlarged right now so i'm going to tell you what's going on so in month one it says that these are things that he should have mastered he should have mastered lifting his head one line on his tummy i will insert a cute picture right here of him with his head held up real high so you guys can see that he has mastered that um, he responds to sounds, especially loud sounds that are coming from Phoenix and EJ because they make a lot of noises, so he does respond to that. And he stares at faces, especially mine. He can find my face anywhere in his house, and he will stare at me until I stare at him or until I, he can't see me anymore. Okay, so these are things that should be emerging, okay? As a teacher, you know that emerging means things that he's working on and will eventually master, so... Follows objects briefly with his eyes. He does that, especially a phone, which I know is not good. But you know how us millennials are. We are always on our phone. So that's something that's always in our hands. So when he's in my arms, this is what he's going to be looking and gravitating towards. He can vocalize things. Like I said, he is ooing and on and grunting. And he can see black and white patterns. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting black and white patterns in front of him or whatever the case may be. Um, but he is supposed to be able to do that. And then the advanced skills that only a few children can do, it says that he can smile and laugh. Like I said, he's done it in his sleep and when he's passing gas. And he can hold his head at a 45 degree angle. Yes. Um, I'm going to actually go down to the two-month um, box because he is doing some of those things in the two-month box. 
Um, he notices his hands already. He knows that those things do something. He just don't know what they do just yet. He's actually putting them in his mouth, grabbing at things, especially my hair. So most times my hair is pulled back into a ponytail. Um, and he likes to suck on his fingers. Like he's not supposed to put his whole thing hand in his mouth. He knows that he can use his hands to pull my hand closer to him. He knows that he can use his hands to pull my breasts closer to him to get more milk. He knows that he can use his hands to um, pull the pacifier out of his mouth. So he knows that he can do things with his um, um, hands. And he holds his head up for short periods of time. My baby has been holding his head up for short periods of time since the day he was born. Like, you guys have no clue. In the hospital, we were like, what is going on? He was moving around, trying to roll over at, at birth. He was lifting his head, pushing off with his little feet. He was doing a whole lot of stuff at the very, very beginning. And these are things that he's only supposed to be doing at two months. And you can see that he's doing them already. Um... He can hold his head steady and he can bear weight on his legs. Like he likes to push off and try to stand up like he's a big kid. And I'm like, baby, you're not a big kid yet. You're still a newborn. You cannot be doing that. He also likes to, when he's lying on his tummy, it's almost like a little crawling motion. If I can get that video in, I think I got a video of that. If I can put that video up here, it'll be right here, right now. Because he does this little crawl scoop thing that he tries to move about while he's on his tummy, which is so funny um, when he's on his tummy like i said you saw that picture before but he can lift his head and shoulders up and kind of hold himself up for a good little minute before he puts his head back down so my baby um prince k is actually progressing very 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 nicely um there has not been any complaints we went to the doctor today he has moved from the 18th or 19th percentile to the 38th percentile so he went from seven pounds at his first initial appointment to nine pounds 12 ounces and that is just in four weeks. So he is really taking in this milk and some formula. Not a lot of formula. I'm trying not to get him too hooked on the formula. But there are times when mama needs a drink. So he has to have the formula. So he is doing really good with his weight. Um, he has grown an inch and a half. So he was born at 20 inches. Now he's 21 and a half inches. Um, his head circumference has moved, I think, an inch. Maybe two inches. 14 to 15. I think it's one. Um, centimeters, they say two heads. I can't remember. Um, he did get a hepatitis shot today, and then he got his foot pricked where they collected some blood. So, Prince K has had all of those good things for his first his one month, and he is ready to rock and roll. Now, I was going to do the postpartum update with you guys in this video as well, but I'm going to do a separate video because I'm going to just go through the whole motions with you guys but there's some things that i want you guys to know that you probably don't know and some things that you do know that i want to just put out there again just in case you are getting ready to have a baby or you're thinking about having having a baby or anything like that i want you guys to know exactly what is really going on like i'm a real regular regular smegular mama out here in these streets i am not a youtube mama just a regular old mama out here trying to get my YouTube on. So I'm going to let you guys know exactly what is really going on as far as being a mom, postpartum, and baby things. So, you guys, that's all that we have for Prince K today. I will be back in a month to do his two-month update just to let you guys know what's going on with Prince K. And if you have any questions as far as what's going on in the first month, then Leave your questions down below. If I have at least 10 questions, I will do a question and answer video about all things baby. If that is what you want to know. Any questions that you have about baby, leave them down below. I do have a question um, about breastfeeding. I did not forget. Let me uh, shout you out real quick. So it's a Danique Finnegan. Danique Finnegan. I did not forget about your question about breastfeeding. Baby girl, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to breastfeeding just you so thank you for actually watching that video and giving me a comment or asking me a question so now i'm gonna do a video just for you because i know breastfeeding for different moms is a little different especially when you are hearing from these big time people you're gonna hear from me how it really is okay so another thing if you're not following me on my social media do that because i do post things on my snap about breastfeeding all the time you can see me on snap eating and feeding at the same exact time so again my snap is Polo Girl 0126, go ahead and follow your girl on Snapchat and follow that journey with me because I've been posting a lot lately. Maybe because I'm in the house. Maybe I can't.
can't believe it. Who knows? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. There's some videos up here right now. You go ahead and watch them. Click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in about a month for more Prince Cake. See you later.